During World War II, Soviet Union engineers and factories gained extensive experience from the significant armor battles against German and Axis forces in Eastern Europe. This knowledge was later applied and refined in numerous post-war developments aimed at preparing for another potential large-scale conflict, particularly against Western powers, throughout the Cold War era. Among these innovations, Soviet engineers were pioneers in introducing the concept of the infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, to the world. This revolutionary vehicle combined the speed and firepower of a light tank with the armor protection of an armored personnel carrier, APC, leading to the development of the BMP-1 in 1966. The BMP-1 proved successful for the Soviet army and its global allies. However, its design had inherent limitations that became apparent, especially following its performance in the Yom Kippur War of 1973 and the Soviet-Afghanistan War of the 1980s, which contributed to the downfall of the Soviet Empire in 1991. These experiences prompted the development of an improved version, leading to the production of the BMP-2 in 1980-1982. The BMP-2 addressed several shortcomings of its predecessor by reworking the internal layout, relocating the commander to a more advantageous position within the turret, integrating smoke grenade launchers, upgrading the primary armament from a 73mm cannon to a more precise 30mm system, and adding support for more lethal anti-tank guided missiles launched from an installed launcher. Both the BMP-1 and BMP-2 were manufactured in large numbers, with over tens of thousands produced and deployed to over 40 countries worldwide, many of which remain in active service today. In the mid-1970s, during the development of the BMP-2, a prototype known as Object 685 emerged, featuring a traversing turret and mounting a 100mm 2A48-1 series main gun. This prototype was developed at the Kurgan Mashavad plant in Kurgan, Russia. Subsequently, the prototype evolved into the pilot vehicle Object 688, which incorporated a new power pack while retaining many of the same characteristics, performance, and amphibious capabilities of the preceding BMP-1 and BMP-2 family lines. Development of this vehicle continued into the 1980s, leading to its submission for state trials and formal adoption by the Red Army in 1987. Limited production vehicles were then delivered before serial production commenced in 1989. The vehicle, now designated as the BMP-3, was first showcased to Western observers during a 1990 Moscow parade, earning it the NATO codename M1990 due to the lack of a better series marker. The BMP-3, while continuing the lineage established by the original BMP-1 of 1966, incorporates several notable design changes that distinguish it from its predecessors, the BMP-1 and BMP-2. Notably, increased attention has been given to crew and systems protection, resulting in a slight increase in armor thickness, particularly across critical frontal facings, by as much as 35 mm. The vehicle is equipped with six electrically charged smoke grenade launchers, three mounted on each front turret side, allowing it to deploy its own smoke screen during maneuvers or retreats, while still retaining the engine-based smoke screen system of the BMP-1 and BMP-2. The operating crew consists of three standard personnel, the driver, commander, and gunner. Unlike the BMP-1 slash BMP-2, where the driver is seated offset left, in the BMP-3, the driver is seated in the front center hull, facilitated by the relocation of the engine from the front to the rear right. The commander and gunner occupy the two-man turret, with the commander positioned on the right and the gunner on the left. The vehicle has the capacity to transport up to seven combat-ready infantrymen, with five accommodated in the rear passenger compartment and two flanking the driver in the front hull, each with roof hatches. In terms of performance, the BMP-3 is powered by a UTD 29M series diesel-fueled engine, boasting an impressive output of 500 horsepower, a significant increase over the BMP-2's 300 horsepower system. It achieves road speeds of up to 45 miles per hour and has an operational range of 370 miles, comparable to that of the BMP-2. Standard features include an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, suite, automatic fire suppression system, and night vision capabilities for all three crew members. Additionally, BMP-3 vehicles can be equipped with ERA, explosive reactive armor, blocks to enhance protection against next-generation penetrators. Similar to its predecessors in the BMP-1 and BMP-2 series, the BMP-3 retains full amphibious capabilities in line with Soviet armored warfare doctrine. With minimal preparation by the crew, including the erection of a trim vane and activation of bilge pumps, the BMP-3 can traverse deep bodies of water. 
It is propelled by two water jets mounted on the lower rear hull, whereas the BMP-2 relied on the motion of its tracks for amphibious movement. The fording speed of the BMP-3 is a respectable 6.2 miles per hour. The BMP-3 maintains the six-double-tired road wheel configuration of the BMP-1-BMP-2, with the drive sprocket now positioned at the rear of the vehicle and the track idler relocated to the front. Three track return rollers remain part of the track arrangement, and the upper regions are partially protected by a short armored skirt. Suspension is provided by a torsion bar system, which is fully adjustable by the driver to adapt to variable terrain conditions. With its short hull superstructure and robust turret assembly, the BMP-3 features a low profile. The glassy plate is well sloped leading up to the hull roofline, while the sides of the hull are vertical but short, making direct flank attacks against the vehicle by anti-tank weaponry challenging. The engine's relocation from the front right of the hull to the rear right allows for an offset left passenger cabin. Passengers still enter and exit through two hinged, outward opening rear doors, with steps lowering as the doors open to accommodate the vehicle's rather high ground clearance. Fuel stores are situated under the hull floor, and hatches are located on the passenger cabin roof, three over the front hull, and two on the turret roof. The BMP series is renowned for its ability to transport troops under protection while also delivering formidable firepower, and the BMP-3 is no exception. Its turret houses a 100mm rifled 2A70 series main gun, equipped with an auto-loading system that ensures 22 rounds of the available 40 by 100 mm projectiles are ready to fire at any given moment. Complementing this main armament is a coaxially installed 30mm 2A72 series autocannon, capable of engaging both light armored vehicles and infantry with equal lethality. In addition to its main gun and auto cannon, the BMP-3 is equipped with anti-tank missile capabilities, much like its predecessors, the BMP-1 and BMP-2. It can launch the 9M117 Bastion slash at 10 Stabber laser-guided anti-tank guided missile ATGM through the 100mm main gun, providing an effective means of countering modern main battle tanks MBTs. The vehicle's defensive capabilities are further enhanced by an optional 40mm grenade launcher, a standard coaxially installed 7.62mm PKT machine gun, and a pair of 7.62mm machine guns fixed in forward firing positions at each front hull corner. Additionally, passengers can utilize firing ports to engage targets with their personal weapons. Notably, the BMP-3's primary weapons can engage a variety of targets while the vehicle is stationary, on the move, or even in water, thanks to its excellent stabilization system. This versatility allows it to effectively engage low-flying aircraft, MBTs, light-armored vehicles, fortified structures, and infantry across various combat scenarios. Initially, BMP-3 units were designated simply as BMP-3, but they were later followed by modernized variants featuring all-new turrets, fire control systems, and power packs, known as the BMP-3M. The Russian Navy received their version, designated as the BMMP, equipped with the 30mm armed turret from the BMP-2. The BMP-3K served as a command vehicle variant with improved communications and navigation capabilities, while the BRM-3K RIS was a command reconnaissance model for the Russian Army. A specialized Russian Marine amphibious variant, the BMPF, boasted enhanced waterborne capabilities, allowing it to operate at sea for up to seven hours and fire from rough seas. Other variants included the Bremel, a dedicated armored recovery vehicle, ARV, and the 9P157-2 Chrysanthem AS, which served as a dedicated missile launching platform, along with the 9M163M1 Cornet T with a similar scope. The BMP-3 chassis also served as the basis for the one-off 2S18 Pad S self-propelled gun platform prototype mounting a 152mm howitzer, the 2S31 fire support vehicle with a 120mm mortar, the DZM Voxtorg 2 combat engineering vehicle, CEV, and the prototype Hermes self-propelled anti-aircraft system. Additionally, the KHTM variant was utilized as a driver trainer. Since its adoption by the Russian army, nearly 700, 693 BMP-3 vehicles have been received. However, its service in foreign hands has not been as widespread as its predecessors, the BMP-1 and BMP-2. The United Arab Emirates is the second largest operator of the BMP-3 series, with nearly 400 systems delivered, while a 415 strong order for Greece has been delayed. Limited numbers are also in service with Armenia, Azerbaijan, Cyprus, Indonesia, Kuwait, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Ukraine, 
Turkmenistan, and Venezuela. India, the world's largest importer of military products as of 2013, remains a potential candidate for the Russian BMP-3 series, pending the outcome of the Indigenous Future Infantry Combat Vehicle FICV, development. Before the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the Soviet Army had plans to replace their entire BMP-2 lineup with newer BMP-3 models. However, the sudden collapse of the empire and subsequent military budget reductions led to both types coexisting side-by-side -side in the modern Russian army inventory.